Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. For some months now, pollsters have been indicating Araila rising on the mountain as a William Ruto declines on the mountain. That has been the trend in most opinion polls. They have been capturing that. But yesterday, for the very first time, Statistics Kenya, a research firm, captured Raila Odinga beating William Ruto on the mountain. And ironically enough, some few months ago, the same research firm captured William Ruto way much ahead of Raila on the mountain. So yesterday, these were the results as released by Statistics Kenya. Central region. You are seeing Raila 54%, Ruto 43%. Those were the latest results from Central Kenya. And according to Statistics Kenya, Raila has so far overtaken William Ruto. That was yesterday. And yesterday still, Uda Brigade, led by Rigadi Gashagwa and Wamatangi, took their campaigns to Kiambu County. And the sibling rivalry between Uda and their affiliate parties came into play. And that actually forced Wamatangi to cut short his speech because it was clear from that the people were not very much interested in what Wamatangi was saying. Have a look at this. <laughs> Yes, that's Wamatangi yesterday. And looking at that kind of a reception, it's clear order as a party is losing popularity in Kiambu County. And that's why the people are not very much interested in what Uda's gubernatorial candidate is actually telling them. And some few months ago, again, Wamatangi was clearly on the lead as the, ne as the possible next Kiambu governor. In fact, in almost all the opinion polls, Wamatangi was comfortably on the lead. But about one week ago, there was also a research that was done in Kiambu County, and actually Kabogo was captured leading in the polls. Let's have a look at the polls. Kiambu County. You are seeing there William Kabogo is on the lead with 35.1%. Kimani Wamatangi comes second, 23.6%. James Nyoro comes third with 18.5%. Then you are seeing Patrick Wanaina comes forth, 14.4%. And then Moses Kuria comes almost at the bottom with 5%, only beating Mwende Gatabaki. Yes. And from those results, that was, that was about one week ago. You are seeing that Kabogo has now overtaken Wamatangi in Kiambu County. And Moses Kure is performing dismally at 5%. Eh? He's performing very dismally at 5%. And these opinion polls, if you compare with what happened yesterday in Kiambu County, they give us very interesting dynamics that I actually want us to analyze and see exactly what is happening on the mountain and more so in Kiambu County. So if in case you are watching us for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you, God bless you, God bless Kenya. Yes. What do you think is going on on the mountain? Moses Kuria, some hours ago, actually after that incident yesterday in Kiambu, took to his social media accounts and had this to say. Moses Kuria, the earth is hard. 
I have been on campaign trail with Senator Kimani Wamatangi for 11 hours today. Not once did he ask people to vote for William Ruto. Moses Kuria is accusing Wamatangi of not campaigning for William Ruto. And it might be true or it might be false. Moses Kuria might just be trying to use William Ruto's name for maybe political mileage in Kiambu County. So it might be true that actually Wamatangi is not actually campaigning for William Ruto. And if you look at the mountain in general, it's clear William Ruto is losing popularity. In fact, across the mountain, William Ruto's other candidates who were initially on the lead, recent opinion polls are all indicating they are actually also declining as William Ruto's popularity declines. So it's very clear, ladies and gentlemen, that all these other candidates on the mountain, their political survival on the mountain largely depends on William Ruto's popularity. If William Ruto is strong on the mountain, then these other candidates have maybe an upper hand. The more William Ruto becomes weak, these candidates' chances of maybe being elected are also getting slim and slimmer each passing day. And from the look of things, it's almost certain and clear William Ruto's popularity is dwindling on the mountain. And for example, if you look at a place like Moranga, where Irungu Kangata has been enjoying some lead, recent opinion polls also are also indicating that Wamatangi, not Wamatangi, Irungu Kangata has actually been overtaken by Jamle Kamau. Jamle Kamau is now comfortably, comfortably on the lead to succeed Mwangi Wairia as the next governor. And in Kiambu again, we are now seeing Wamatangi's popularity actually declining. And maybe as Moses Kuri is alluding, Wamatangi might have also realized that William Ruto's popularity is actually going down. So Wamatangi might not all that be much interested in actually evoking William Ruto's name for political mileages. But again, if you look at Moses Kuria, I'm seeing a Moses Kuria who is still stuck in the old brand of politics. Moses Kuria still believes and thinks that by actually uh, evoking William Ruto's name and all the time talking about Ruto is going to endear him to the residents of Kiambu. That alone exposes Moses Kuria as a weak leader who must hang on to William Ruto's court to maybe be relevant politically. But again, if you look at Moses Kuria, Moses Kuria is actually missing the picture. And this, or rather, is me missing the big picture. And this is why I've always maintained in this channel that Moses Kuria is the most confused candidate as far as Kiambu is concerned. And even from the opinion polls, you are seeing it's almost coming the last candidate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's, in fact, is the second last, only beating Wende Gatabaki. And Kabogu just announced recently that he was cutting links with William Ruto. Immediately made that announcement, William Kabogo actually emerged the winner. He actually overtook Wamatangi in Kiambu County. So Moses Kuria, from where I sit, is actually making a very big political blunder in Kiambu County. William Ruto's name on the mountain is no longer appealing as it used to do. Moses Kure should actually, on his own, persuade the people to actually cast votes for him instead of maybe trying to hang on to William Ruto's code. William Ruto, in my honest opinion, is no longer appealing and exciting the mountain. In fact, by Moses Kure even dis disassociating from William Ruto can even earn him some votes. Because as other selection approaches, William Ruto is clearly coming out as an aggressor to Uhuru Migai Kenyatta. And that in one way or the other is working against him and his candidates on the mountain. As I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, 
If you look at all those events that happened yesterday, I can authoritatively conclude that in the next few weeks, the mountain will be totally a different place for William Ruto. William Ruto and his team won't just actually imagine or even fathom what actually beat them on the mountain. The mountain is dumping William Ruto and dumping him very, very fast. Ladies and gentlemen, let me stop there. In case you are watching us for the very first time, but so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Our fans and, fans and subscribers here, God bless you, God bless Kenya.